Hi lovers, welcome to my channel. My name is Made for Love and today I'm just giving you an energy update um, on your soul connection. So the first thing we are going to do guys, and we're just going to go into my favorite that for the while. This <laughs> is Abila and see what is the message there for you guys today. Now the music that came on for you guys is the same 5 to 8 hertz, okay? And it says healing at all levels, remove negative aura, and higher self integration frequency. All right, so this, let's take it piece by piece because there are, three, there are three things operating there. The first thing is healing at all levels. Now, some of you may find that you're circling back through, maybe through the same issue yet again. Okay, and maybe you've circled back around this issue a couple times as well in your twin flame soulmate journey. Well, what spirit wants you to do um, is see it from an even higher perspective because now you have that consciousness before you're operating in codependency and all kind of low vibrational crap. Okay, but now you have that consciousness. Now that you've ascended um, to this particular vibration, spirit is asking you to look at your relationships and look at how you conduct yourself um, from an even higher perspective. It also speaks to the application of your whatever you've learned um, on this journey um, in a very practical sense. So you may find your, your masculine come back in, and even in, even in small ways, that spirit testing you um, to see if you've learned the lesson, if you've learned to um, love, love yourself first, and then love others have that unconditional love flowing but at the same time um setting those healthy boundaries and it also speaks to you know the focus on the self um, making sure that you are physically spiritually mentally and, and emotionally well right now is is your time as we say it's, it's your time and then we have removed negative aura so some of you guys might be vibrating in some low vibrational energies right now and i told you guys about that Anytime you stay in that for too long, you're inviting all kind of negative entities into your space. So for your own self, for your own protection, um, you have to deal with those issues and really um, elevate yourself out of those energies. So there are lots of amazing meditations on YouTube to remove negative energy from your, from your aura frequency, or you can always book an SRT session with me. The other thing is, it's the higher self integration, all right? So that is about the unity, okay? Um, that's about um, really connecting with your higher self and being your authentic self, um, that soul essence. So this is what we need to focus on um, at this time. So let's see, what is the message from spirit with regard to your soul connection and your person? What is the message? <clears throat> All right, so we have widower. So this is... This is transformation one. I'm getting transformation vibes. There's some kind of death. You're putting something to rest. And it could be all relationships, quite frankly. And it could be a mirrored energy, you and your person doing the same thing. Now I'm getting that it's something is transforming. Something has died. <clears throat> and of course, once something dies, something is born. So there's some kind of death and rebirth process that's happening here. I'm also getting the energy of mourning as well somebody is mourning or grieving for something so when i clarify i'm going to know so we have that widower i am noting that it is masculine energy there whether it's a man or woman it is masculine energy all right what do we have here we have a reunion all right so spirit is saying <clears throat> you see all your past pain all your past relationships okay and all your past drama this has to die all the negativity this has to die this has to be transmuted um, to allow space for some kind of reconciliation that's about to happen here and this is you and your person this is not just your person you may think your person is the energetic block but it is not remember they are only showing you yourself they are only mirroring your energy so anytime there's blockages the blockages are within you so there's something here that you need to mourn something here that you need to process and lay to f and rest to allow for a reunion to take place here because you guys are in reunion energies but there's some kind of blockage within you so i'm going to pull some cards okay yeah you're here you're waiting 
And Spirit saying you gotta pack up that baggage. I don't think you should take it with you though. You need to throw that in the sea. Okay? Look, we have somebody here waiting to go on a voyage. And let's get one more card. Yeah, and there's some kind of surprise blessing um, that's coming in for you. Okay, so let us deconstruct these cards and let us see the messages that Spirit wants to give us today. What does Spirit want us to know? It's an interesting set of cards. Let me bring it a little closer to you. All right, let's see what's happening. Underneath the deck, we have King of Swords. Communication, truth, and seeing things clearly. Okay? Uh, that's, that's also boundary setting, too. All right, so why did you give us this widower? Tell us what this pertains to. <clears throat> okay, we have a Two of Cups in reverse. And we have a Seven of Swords. All right, so I'm getting, this could be happening to you. All right, let's take it both ways. Okay, and look, we have judgment. So we're going to take that too. Okay, because that's the energy that I felt, a death and rebirth process. Spirit is asking both of you guys, but since you are the one watching this, you're going to take it for yourself. Spirit is asking me both of you guys. You see the, the mask that you guys used to wear? Okay, that may have caused the demise of this connection or is causing the delay of this connection. Spirit is saying it's time to throw that in the sea. Okay, everything that does not serve you. All the ways that you're not being authentic with yourself. Spirit is saying it's time to let that go. It's time to bury that. All the pain of the past. All the people who may have deceived you and hurt you. Spirit is saying see those betrayals from a higher perspective. See it as another soul that has contracted to come into your life. To crack you open or to teach you a particular lesson. In that way you're able to forgive their 3D self. And to thank their higher self. Or their 5d self for whatever lesson they will bring to you because it's through these challenges and through these changes that you're able to be the person the ascended person that you are right now you are not the same person you were last week or even yesterday because you are learning your lesson you're responding to the triggers that are happening in your life right now and spirit says you have to see it from that higher perspective this is how you're able to let go and forgive and bury the past and both of you guys need to do this so this is to happen with all the relationships that didn't involve your person and it's also to happen with the things in the past. You have to make peace with them and lay them to rest to allow for this reunion to happen. Okay? It's not that this com person comes back in and you guys talk it out, you get a closure and then reunion happens. No. Spirits are not saying that. They're saying remove any negativity from your aura. That's what they said, right? Remove negativity from your aura. So any kind of bitterness, jealousy, resentment, whatever it is, you have to remove that from your space to allow for this reunion. Whatever's happening here, whatever you're not laid to rest is what's causing this delay. Mm -hmm. Both, both of you guys. Let's see this reunion here. Yeah. Spirit saying that's a brand new that's a brand new beginning that's coming in. It's just waiting to happen. This thing is going to transform here. But both of you guys are dwelling in betrayals and pain from the past, whether it is with each other or other relationships or both. And you have to deal with that. This is why you guys are in separation right now. So that you guys can deal with these issues and come to a place of peace. Learn the lesson, see it from a higher perspective, and move on. Move on. Some of you guys want to carry the baggage with you. No, the ship is not accepting this baggage. The ship is not accepting this baggage. You got to leave that baggage on the port. Everything you need will be provided to you when you reach a new, new destination. You cannot take this baggage with you. Some of you guys are trying to take the old baggage with you. It doesn't work like that. Spirit is saying no. That's karmic baggage. Spirit saying, leave that baggage behind. You cannot take the old baggage into the new. You cannot. And that's why you're here stuck at the crossroads. Because you're trying to take the old baggage into the future. It's not allowed. So I, heard, I heard it's not allowed. 
because there's some kind of surprise here and it's abundance look this guy here is fishing and what he's getting is inventing money out of that pot okay so all your wishes are about to come true okay you just need to face your fears face the negativity all those intrusive thoughts that tell you that this is not going to happen they're gonna hurt you again spirit saying stop stop sabotaging yourself stop creating drama that has not even happened okay you're blocking yourself off you're blocking your heart off okay lay down the burden and the baggage lay down now let's have a look um at what your person is experiencing on their twin flame soulmate journey right now Need to that we got mission interesting somebody looking for their life purpose so let's get four cards we have astral projection and you know i've been i've been getting that really strong as well a lot of um people that have cleared that a lot of the masculines have been doing that astral projection we have crown chakra lots of downloads beautiful so this all points to a lot of activation and spiritual gifts and they need that because spirit is saying there's some heavy ancestral karma that they are processing right now okay um, they're facing some heavy triggers but this is for their healing so let us deconstruct these let's see what's going on what's this astral projection but i think it's just representing all the gifts that may be coming forward right now yep we have wheel of fortune it looks like some fated events are happening to your person um some gifts that they were fated to receive it looks like they are receiving them i'm getting that them stepping into um the, embracing these spiritual gifts um is what's turning the wheel of um, fortune in their life so where they were stopped before it looks like this wheel of t fortune is turning because there, there's some kind of release of a third party energy um that's happening right now let's see that crown chakra yes they're getting a lot of downloads about their unstable foundation now this could be childhood or this could be some kind of foundation that they built with someone else that was based on illusion and lies okay it's somewhere that had them trapped in their mind um in their programming but spirit is releasing them and they're releasing themselves from this energy right now all the downloads because they have opened themselves up to spirit and that's why we had a mission card below right they are aligning themselves to their soul mission and because of that they're getting all these activations all these spiritual gifts and this is what they're using to process some kind of ancestral karma that we're going to get into now spirit what's this ancestral karma card yes you see the dysfunctional family card okay ten of pentacles in reverse we're talking about dysfunctional families we're talking about families um, where there are big karmic injustices and imbalances um, where there's a lot of inequality um, I don't know I heard among the sexes among the sexes people in poverty consciousness have an aware attachment to the material world and a lot of heartbreak and pain maybe even third-party situations um, maybe that's part of one of um, the generational um, programming here whatever your person was modeled um, kept them stuck for a long time so your person is here to transmute that there's a big karmic balance that they're transmuting and so it's a it's a pattern of self sabotage and conflict the five of swords okay your person's going to change that because they're going to be the first pe person to be like this independent standing on their own operating from a higher level of consciousness with this nine of pentacles and this um, king of pentacles here your person's going to be the first stable one. What's the trigger that they're experiencing right now? All right. We have two of swords. Some, for some of them, um, there's some kind of mental illness that they're battling right now. Or they're very conflicted. Let me see what they're... Oh, they're conflicted by the ten of, pe ten of cups. Okay. So it could be some kind of family setup. Or it could, this could represent you. And some higher perspective that they're getting with this hangman energy okay oh okay no 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 this is what it is this is what it is 
because I saw this card, you see. Yeah. All right, you see, I saw the Pride and Ego card, so I know what it is now. Okay? Growing up, they had a different perspective on what true happiness really meant. Okay? Their pride and ego was telling them one thing. But now the enlightenment self, enlightened self is telling them another about what true happiness is and what a proper family structure looks like, what it feels like, what it vibrates at. Okay? They're getting these aha moments now. Okay? And it's triggering their heart, them hard. It's triggering their ego. It's triggering everything that they've ever believed in because they've gotten this enlightened perspective. So your person was taught an ego view of what is happiness and family, but they're now getting an enlightened view. And this is shaking their world. This is shaking their foundation here. Let me see what you guys need to focus on healing this week. Besides what we said before, what else are you guys healing this week? Over here will be DF. And underneath the deck, we got, a, we got the poverty consciousness. We got it. So let's see DF. What is she healing this week? And DM, what is he healing this week? I say he, but it is the energy. Masculine energy, okay? What is DF healing? Unrequited love. So we're talking about codependency. Okay, we're talking about overgiven in relationships. Um, we're talking about um, loving or um, binding yourself to people who are emotionally unavailable. Okay, it's about no longer settling for those patterns, no longer settling for less than you deserve um, in love. Okay, drawing that particular boundary. Okay, if somebody says that they can only be friends, okay, then we can only be friends. You will not be given more than that or anything that compromises your self-respect and who you are. What is their feeling this week? We talk, we talk about spellbound. Okay, so this is the second time that we've gotten that message about um, some kind of negative negativity attached. So definitely they are grounded in protection meditations. You can check me for SRT, but this can also talk about, you know, sometimes we get so caught up in a person's energy that we become transfixed, right? Um, some of you can watch a Leo reading for today because I think that came out where we talk about a person being Basil D. And in my language, Basil D means, you know, you turn stupid. You, you to, you're so lovesick that you're just stupid, right? So what, what you guys might call it, pussy whipped or whatever it is, whatever the, is the inverse as well okay um so it's breaking out of being of feeling bound to this person it's breaking out of the trance okay that they may have put you in it's not it's like somebody hypnosis snaps his fingers and you just snap out of it this is exactly what's happening it's no longer um binding you it's no longer having you transfixed you are seeing everything clearly now okay um for dm we have a blank card so i have to pull a card on that What's he healing? All right. Family, healing family issues. We have the 10 of cups here again. So his ideas around what's the ideal family, what does it look like, that kind of thing. That's why he's healing. Let me pull out another card. And it comes back again. I'm having these mini tower moments, these aha moments about um, what family truly means, getting that higher perspective. He may have had a vision for himself um, and what family would look like or what a spouse would look like, that kind of thing, or what a family, a, a family does. But all these values that he was taught, all these things are changing as um, he changes his perspective on life and rises into um, higher consciousness. Look, we have the dark force entities. So we have spellbound, we have the dark force entities. We had the first thing, the first question we got was about um, clearing negativity from your aura. So listen, this week, guys, you're, you're going to be careful, okay? Don't go partying, drinking, taking drugs, whatever it is. These compromise your aura. Stay away from negative people because all these things can be a kind of psychic attack and they can make holes in your aura and your aura is your first line of defense. That being said, after you watch this reading and you get a quiet, a quiet space, 
there are lots of meditations on YouTube about for removing negative entities or energies um, from your energy field. Sit down and listen to one. And if you don't feel better after that, contact me for some kind of SRT spirit release session because there's something here about interference by dark force entities. And this always happens every time you guys are close to reunion. I remember we've been chatting for a long time. I'm reunion, um, talking about reunion around, around the 1111 portal. Anytime you guys are close to union, you have this interference. So it looks like experience is letting you know the interference. And it may not even be um, from the spiritual world. It could be 3D people trying to interfere. We're talking about karmic family members. Okay? Karmic friends. So this week is about protecting your energetic space. And you know who those people are. You know where those places are. This is not the time to be messing about. It's a lot of interference that's about, okay? I'm still going to pull a card on it, but this is what I'm getting. It's interference. And you see it's coming from a third party. Look at here. The three of pentacles. Look, look. And this is the queen that will do that. The queen of wands in reverse. Because remember, this is a karmic that will abuse their authority and abuse their spiritual gifts. I told you. Okay, so what is Spirit's advice um, for both of you guys going forward to align to this reunion energy? What is the advice? I'm going to take a card from each from this. Okay, so that's the F. We have the F. So what does the F need to do? And we got this already. It's about stepping into her power. And let me tell you, when you're vibrating high, ain't no negativity can, that can attach itself to you. And even negative people, you'd find that they cannot stay in your presence for very long. So you just have to raise your vibration. But Spirit is saying, you have power deep inside of you that is untapped. Give birth to the wonder of revelation. Okay. I'm going to read this from the book today. And let me see what DM has. You are, you need time for him to, to take off that mask and show his authentic self. We got that message earlier. Time to show your authentic self. Okay. Be yourself. Everyone else is taken. But let me read that one for DF from the book because this is the second time it's cropped up for us since I've been using this deck. So let's have a look. Let's see this concealed power. Most of the challenges we undergo have the potential to introduce us to our innovative capabilities. So it's that same message about tapping into your creativity. Okay. When something out of the norm happens, creative people go inward and explore the resources to turn things around and put them to imaginative use. Okay? As we claim our creative power and embrace a new experience, we are open to the future that awaits us beyond the, beyond the known, beyond certainty, beyond what has already been dreamed before. So Spirit is saying, tapping into your creativity, tapping into your creative power, which is divine feminine energy, by the way, because that's what the Empress does. She creates. By tapping into that, you allow yourself to be open to spirit and open to the things that you don't even know about to happen. And spirit says, it looks like there's some kind of surprise in store. Okay, this oracle brings you a message of divine guidance. You have been created with a power beyond that which you can imagine. You possess a creative potential so vast and wondrous, it cannot be measured by any known standards. Know you are something more than you have been taught to believe and that there's a higher energy available to you. So listen. There's some kind of activation that is about to happen. The spirit is saying you have to open yourself to it. Okay? Don't study this person. <laughs> right? Study your spiritual path and open up yourself to spirit because there's something, there's some kind of creative gift, some kind of creative idea, some kind of activation that they want to give you. It is time for you to realize the inherent power which lies dormant in you. In your unique way, hey, hey you are as creative as anyone else. Take a chance and express your ideas. 
and inspiration for making changes and achieving your desires. If you feel something within you is stopping you from achieving your joyful dreams, it is time for you to let go of that feeling and accept the current energies that are flowing through you in the fullness of love. Now is the time to respond creatively to the awe and wonder you feel and see around you. So you're feeling this energy already, but you might be resisting it because you want to control. But Spirit is saying, time to go with the flow. And the best way to align yourself to the flow is to delve deep into your creative projects and into your psychic development. Okay? So the mantra is, I have been created to create. Oh, you hear that? I have been created to create. From now on, every day, I will find something created to do with my life. And that is how you keep yourself in flow. I'm not going to mess this up by saying anything else, guys. So this week, don't go partying and turning up. <laughs> it is not the week for that, guys. Okay? You know, I'm non-judgmental where that is concerned. But I'm telling you, it's not the week to get turned up. Okay? <laughs> All right, guys. I hope you enjoy the reading. Take care. Lots of love. Bye.